Um, okay, now here's someone I have no interest in and never talk about, but I find this interesting, okay? You may have heard that someone named Logan Paul, who was apparently like a multi-millionaire. <laughs> That's a lot of parentheses on Logan Paul. Him and his brother are, are super rich and famous on YouTube. Um, so I guess like they must have some sort of in, right? So uh, he bought a box of Pokemon cards for $3.5 million. And... It turns out they're fake. And what's really funny about this, and I, I will play a little, a, a few clips um, from this video, because I, I, I personally found this pretty fascinating. This break, like this guy who is called um, Rattle Pokemon, and his entire channel, I looked at it, is just this guy opening Pokemon cards. So he's like a fucking weirdo. But he made a video saying that this box of Pokemon cards that, this, that Logan Paul bought are fake. And he broke down why, and I just kind of want to show you why this guy thought this case was fake. He makes a very convincing argument that so Logan Paul probably should have paid attention to. Very public. I had to do some digging even even to, uh, to bring this up. This is the original auction uh, for that same case. So here we see a 15 feedback seller in Canada, here in Canada, um, and the winning bid for $91,300. Which is about seventy-two thousand dollars at the time. Um, apparently, in twenty twenty-one, so this year, this box comes out of nowhere, and this this guy who is a weirdo obsessed with Pokemon merchandise uh, tracks it down and finds the original auction, and it's traded hands a bunch of times, and it's gone up in value every time. Like the first person who bought it had it authenticated with something, and he explains that in a second. But so first, weird things that you have. This weird Canadian who speaks in broken English with no feedback selling a $72,000 box, basically, on, on eBay. And he goes through the, the pictures of it, and there's like there's no proof of what's inside this box, except the seller's claims. Uh, if you want to check that out, we got the stop tape. Uh, as Rudy says, st uh, the people that are banking on stop tape are just playing with fire. Um all so that, around, all around bad idea. That stop tape is worth like several million dollars at this point based on what Logan Paul has paid for it. Uh, d and Liquidations wanted to meet in person and pay either in cash or with a cashier's check. Uh, the seller did not want to do that. If that's not a red flag, I don't know what to tell you. That's bad. That's all around bad. Sellers absolutely would dream of someone flying in to them to pay for something in person. Not only does that remove the risk of theft or loss in transit, uh, but it also guarantees that you're not going to get a charge back or something like that. It's It would just be a better transaction all around. Do you guys think that Logan Paul buying Pokemon cards is like, modern art shit you know how they like modern art is just like a an allegory for tax evasion by like trading and stuff w worth way like praised at way more than it's actually worth is this box of pokemon cards like um like the equivalent of that and i would play it at one and a half speed but i know people listen to my streams at one and a half speed so it would be way too fast for them you just have to bear with it uh the buyer dnb liquidations wanted to open the box on the spot um just to confirm that the contents were real and the seller had nothing wanted nothing to do with that so that that basically broke off the deal i mean it probably should have been broken up before that uh, apparently they drew up a contract and everything uh, but it's weird that the the seller <laughs> does not want you to open the box so it's not really his problem anymore if you're going to pay for it and as long as the contents are in there i, I used allegory correctly fuck off uh, he has nothing to worry about so maybe he's just banking on the fact that someone's going to buy it and keep it sealed, kind of like it is now. So, someone said that they listened to my streams at three times on mute. <laughs> I'm glad. glad you enjoy the streams, bro. <laughs> is, are the contents in there? That's the thing. Is What's this in a the box? Five million dollar cardboard box with with repacked cards inside. Um, and until we see the contents, we're not going to know for sure. 
I'm not saying for sure that this is repacked or anything like that, but I'm, I'm just saying there is a very good chance uh, that this box does not contain what is promised. Mike says, hey there. So now he's reading the, um, the, mess the correspondence between the original Canadian seller and um, uh, between two different people. So this is the story of how he got the box of what, what is supposed to be six boxes of booster packs, first edition Pokemon cards, right? So it's like a gambling thing because, number one, the box itself is rare because there's no other box of, like, unopened first edition Pokemon cards. And then the second one is an unopened box of Pokemon cards is worth like a first edition cards is worth more than its weight in gold because those booster packs can have gem mint uncirculated Charizards in it, which are first edition. And those sell like, like half a million each. So theoretically you could have tons and tons of money worth of Pokemon cards in those, those booster packs, which reminds me that after my house fire, my mom sold all my Pokemon cards for pennies on the dollar. And I'm sure that the, some of them were worth money and I'll, I only have actually, I have a yellow Pikachu binder of Pokemon cards that I like most of all, uh, put safe somewhere. I have to go find those, my Pokemon cards. Um, my favorite one was the, and I know it's probably not worth any money, but, uh, let's see if I can find this actually. Let's see. Ancient new card. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They gave these out at every movie theater with a with a ticket to the um the first Pokemon movie. I fucking love this card. I think it's like the coolest looking thing ever. It's like uh, hieroglyphics and shit. How do, how do you say no to this? It's probably worth like a like a penny because <laughs> they gave them out to everyone who saw that movie. Those are worthless. It's worth it's worth money to me. I'm I'm gonna make a deck out of these. Nothing but ancient news, and you just gotta live with it. <laughs> in fact if i was a super wealthy collector like logan paul i would just buy every ancient new i could find i would own them all and then everyone else would be like please just one ancient new i just need one ancient new for my collection you you own all of them you don't need every ancient new ever made and i'd be like no actually i do fuck you <laughs> you get you get nothing <laughs> or hi there where did this case of first edition boxes come from, and do you have any other Pokemon collectibles for sale? Uh, and now, the story changes. It was a gift for my 12th birthday in 1999, and I only got a few single Pokemon cards left and my hockey cards. So, completely different stories. This one, he's, he got the box recently at a, a boring estate sale. Uh, and in this one, he got it for his 12th birthday. So, like, we're on the opposite ends of the spectrum here. On, like that, that should be the, regular, the biggest red flag possible. Like if the guy can't even keep his own story straight, and he, he writes like he doesn't speak English as a first language. Last year, I was very bored, so I went over to my sister's to see what she was up to, and she was not up to much. So we went to drive to go get coffee, and after we picked up coffee, she wanted to go check out some estate sales. So we drove around looking at a few. Not really my thing, but I was bored. So around the third estate sale... She took me, and I was so bored I wanted to jump off a bridge. So as I was waiting for my sister, I was standing by a table having a smoke, and I went to put my smoke out on the bottom of my boot. I seen a box with a loose trading card containing Pokemon, hockey, baseball, etc. I started looking, and I seen a few things I liked, and then the case with its all its paperwork next to the box, I was looking, and right away picked it up and asked the lady if it was for sale. She said yes, and it was her grandson's. That man had passed away. And it was part of the estate sale. Now you know the story about the case. Please make your offer. Also, if you are worried, I can make legal contract protecting you and me. This man is either Arab or Quebecois, and neither are trustworthy, chat. Make no mistake. This man has never heard of a period. Creepypasta. <laughs> uh, okay, and to wrap it up. Um, 23, 23. Authentication. So there's no guarantee so, on this authentication. At some point between, um, the, the, the Arab Quebecois man selling the cards on eBay and, uh, Logan Paul buying them for $3.5 million. Um, they were verified by a group called the baseball card experts it was like the bbce and 
as the name implies, they don't do Pokemon cards, but they, for whatever reason, stuck their neck out and said, yeah, for sure, these, these are the real thing. If you want to call it that, uh, it's basically just an opinion from a baseball card exchange shop. Um, they're not going to pay out anything if it's not real. I mean, I, there's no real consequences. I can't imagine there's any sort of guarantee put in place. Uh, you're still going to have to track it back to the original owners. I think the wrap here might prevent future tampering because at least then, you know, nothing happened at this point. But uh, that's not where the problem lies. I don't think Logan is going to be uh, unwrapping, rewrapping or anything. And what's sad is that, like, the the uh, company that does these verifications has to, like, eat shit now because they fucked up big time and said that these cards are real. They said, uh, in March 2021, we were asked to provide our good faith opinion and verify that the Pokemon case that had not previously been opened or tampered with. We evaluated it, and in our opinion, the case was in its original state. This past Saturday, we opened that case to verify our opinion and were extremely disappointed to learn that it was inauthentic. We have authenticated tons of thousands, tens of thousands of sealed card product for nearly 20 years and have meticulously developed a structure and framework to provide our expert opinion. We are reevaluating our approach to all sealed cases going forward. And it's just crazy because the fucking like weird nerd wearing the team rocket hoodie identified it with a few pictures and this expert for 20 fucking years didn't uh this is the relevant part of this video that i'll spare the, the time of opening the box and oh my god oh my god bro gi joe gi joe it could have been anything else now i don't know anything about logan paul so you guys like i don't i i don't know if anyone in my audience watches gi joe or uh logan paul but does he like hate gi joe is this like a thing where he has like an ongoing feud with gi joe because i don't know he seems pretty fucking devastated i also want to point out something which seems relevant but if we look down here at his youtube handle we see this picture of logan paul Right, we see this picture. Now, if we watch the video of the of, of we go to like any any time frame, like at all, like any picture of um of Logan Paul, and he's just like you know where he's just like sitting there, he does not look as bad as this picture. Now, chat, why the fuck does he not change his picture? This is a, a genuinely horrific photo of him. What, what, what is his attachment? Just use, just use this, this picture of him sitting here. And I'm trying. It makes him look more like a human being than whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. This is, like, creepy, this, this picture of him that he uses for his profile. Whatever. Okay, that's the Logan Paul thing. I just found it funny that he bought... I don't know. It could be fake, you know? Sure, why not? He could, um... He could have said it all. I mean, if you have the money to start drama, why not, right? It's called being unhinged. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.